On the 30th of December, 1460, the Houses of Lancaster and York fought an important battle of the Wars of the Roses. This was the Battle of Wakefield. Today, on the 29th of December, 2019, the eve of the anniversary of the battle, we prepare to embark on a memorial walk from Wakefield Cathedral to Sandal Castle. The battle was fought outside the walls of Sandal Castle and in it, Richard of York, the Yorkist claimant to the throne of England, lost his life. We're now heading down Kergate in Wakefield city centre towards the medieval Chantry Chapel on Wakefield Bridge. It is there where the procession will make its first stop. Duke Richard's son, the Earl of Rutland, lost his life near that spot as he attempted to withdraw from battle as the Yorkists were routed by the forces of the House of Lancaster. There will be a short service in Chantry Chapel to remember the Earl of Rutland. Here we can see the procession marching on to Wakefield Bridge. Here, members of the procession step forward to lay a wreath of white roses the symbol of the House of York, in memory of the Earl of Rutland. Come inside the side of the door, please! <laughs> journey to uh, Sandal Castle in this commemoration of the Battle of Wakefield. We've come here to this ancient building, this Chantry Chapel, uh, to remember Edmund, Earl of Rutland. He died uh, at the battle on the, at the age of 17 uh, during the War of the Roses. He had fought in the battle at the side of his father, Richard of York. And after the tide of battle turned against his father, Edmund attempted to escape over Wakefield Bridge, where we are, but was overtaken and killed. There usually is a plaque uh, to Edmund here in the building, but it's a way for renovation. Maybe that they, I think the Duke of York Society are coming here tomorrow on the anniversary of uh, the battle, and uh, they'll perhaps bring it back. But anyway, we're going to lay this week uh, in front of the altar in memory of Edmund. And we'll just remember him in a prayer. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted either by death or life. Here are prayers and thanksgivings for Edmund, Earl of Rutland, whom we remember this day. Fulfill in us, as in him, the purpose of your love, and bring us all to your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. After the service, participants are given the opportunity to rest and take refreshments. The procession then resumes its journey towards Sandal Castle. It now follows Barnsley Road in the direction of Sandal. Back in 1460, in the aftermath of a disastrous battle, the Earl of Rutland would have emerged from the general direction of Barnsley Road in his attempt to get across the Calder. The plan, perhaps, would have been for him and any men who were with him to melt away into the urban area and thus evade capture. After laying low for a while, they could then have attempted to link up with Allied forces under the command of the Earl of Warwick and his brother Edward, who would later become King Edward IV. To our right, we see Castlegrove Park. This formed part of the battlefield of the Battle of Wakefield. We now turn right into the park. It was in this area, to use the mnemonic for remembering the spectrum, that Richard of York gave battle in vain. We now arrive at our second stop, 
the memorial for Richard, Duke of York. So we've come now on our journey to this memorial for Richard of York. When the battle began, Richard left Sandal Castle. His reasons for doing so are not clear. They were variously claimed to be the result of a deception by the Lancastrian forces or treachery by the northern lords who York mistakenly believed to be his allies or it was simple rashness on his part. The, the much larger Lancastrian force destroyed York's army in the resulting Battle of Wakefield. York was killed in the battle. He was either on horse, wounded, and died fighting to the death, or captured, mocked with a crown of bulrushes, and then beheaded. So we're going to place this posy in front of his So a prayer for Richard of York. O oh God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, Look kindly on your departed servant, Richard, Duke of York, who gave his life in the service of his country. Grant that through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, your Son, Richard may share the joy of your heavenly kingdom and rejoice in you with your saints forever. I ask this through Christ our Lord. We now begin the final leg of our walk, up the hill on Minigates Lane to Sandal Castle. In 1460, Richard of York is thought to have come down this lane on his way to the battle. We now enter the site of Sandal Castle itself. We then walk a single lap of the castle before crossing the footbridge to the castle's bailey for the final stop of the day. At the end, there was a short service at the castle and the laying of a wreath. So let us make together this act of commitment. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may be peacemakers in our homes, in our community, in our country and in our world. Lord, Lord God, God, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all mankind in the cause of peace and for the relief of want and suffering. Give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us always faithful. Amen. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.